Hello, so this is the first of five videos on creating and joining data tables in Bubble. So this will talk about backend design and how to think about your backend on Bubble. Before looking at the data tab, in this video, we will look at Excel as more of you have used Excel in the past and to some extent, it's quite similar. The first question to ask yourself is, what do I have lots of in my app? The answer may be lots of users, lots of orders, lots of items, lots of pictures, lots of questions, lots of projects, you name it. In Bubble, these are called data types. So if you have lots of users, you would create a new data type called users, lots of orders, new data type called orders. And then each user may have fields. So a user may have the field username or the field date of birth or the field address. An order may have a name, it may have a list of items it's associated with. Item may have a name, a price, stock number, etc. Now in Bubble, we can actually then download all data of one type. How would this look? Well, I've created a sheet called users. And this sheet is all data of type users with all the fields. So the fields here are the columns. So username, email, date of birth, address, current order of user. And then each row is one data entry. That's how Bubble works. So for orders, it would be the same. I have one sheet called orders and the columns are the fields I created before. Name of order, price, and here I've also got order date, items in order, create of order. And the same with items, name of item, price, stock, and all the data entries here. What you may have also noticed is that here I've kind of joined, so to say, the user and the order or the order and item table by creating current order of user. Because if I search for milk smoothie over in the orders table, I will actually find milk smoothie here and its total price, order date, its list of items, and creator of order. Creative order would link me back again to here if I search for it. And the items, I can actually search for banana over here and find it here in this part of the table. And Bubble works very similar to this. I'll show you exactly how to set up and kind of copy this layout over in Bubble in the next video. This video can be seen in a step-by-step -step list on tiplister.com, linked below, where you can also find lots of short free bubble tips.